portable electrical equipment can be found in every office, workshop and home. Electricity is inside every one of these, looking for an easy way out. Follow these simple rules to stay safe. If you can, substitute the portable electrical equipment with something else, like a battery powered tool. If you do use a portable electrical appliance, make sure the appliance has a test tag which is in date. Check cords and equipment before use. If it's damaged, don't use it. Get it repaired by a licensed electrician. Always plug into an earth leakage protected power supply. These are protected by what are commonly referred to as safety switches, or RCDs, which can switch off the power automatically if there is a danger to you. If you aren't sure whether a power supply is earth leakage protected, ask someone or use a portable earth leakage device and make sure it works before you use it by pushing the test button. Warning, safety switches don't work in every situation and they can fail so don't bet your life on them. Always switch off before plugging, unplugging, and always pull by the plug, not the cord. Extension cords and power boards are classed as portable electrical equipment and should be treated as such. Extension cords can be a trip hazard and they can be easily damaged, exposing live wires. So make sure you run it safely. Only use extension cords in single lengths. If you connect them together, they can overheat and the earth leakage protection may not work. If you are using a power reel, make sure you fully unwind it before use, otherwise it could overheat. The same goes for extension cords. Unravel it before you use it. In Arium, power boards should only be used in office environments or similar. Make sure they have individually switched outlets. This lets you turn the power off before plugging or unplugging. They must also have overload protection. Don't overload power boards by using double adapters or plugging one power board into another. Both these things can cause overloading and overheating, leading to electric shocks and fires. Appliances like heaters, sandwich presses and toasters use a lot of power, so don't combine them in a power board. Plug them into a separate power point. Water conducts electricity. This means that electricity can run through water just like it runs through wires. One third of all reported electrical shocks in Arium involve water. Follow these simple guidelines to stay safe. Keep electrical equipment well away from water. If equipment is wet, make sure you turn it off before you touch it. When touching electrical equipment, always have dry hands or dry gloves. You wouldn't let your family do it, so why should you? Leave it to someone who is qualified, it's not worth the risk. Electrical dangers aren't always clearly visible either. Electricity is all around you. So before you start puncturing anything, ask a qualified person to check for electrical wires. You might not see it, but it's waiting for you to come within striking distance. Overhead power lines are everywhere. In Australia, four people die every year in accidents involving overhead power lines. Most of these people are not electricians. In Arium, we don't do any work near overhead power lines unless we have controls in place. When you use a welder, your electrode can be like a live wire in your hand. 
Electricity is right there, looking for a path to the return lead. If you are in that path, the electricity can kill you. Follow these rules to stay safe. Always inspect your welding equipment before you start work. This includes the power supply lead. If they are damaged, don't use them. Get it repaired by a licensed electrician. Run your leads safely so they won't trip anybody or get damaged. If your welder has a plug, make sure it has a current test tag. And always plug it into an earth leakage protected power supply. If you are using a manual metal arc welder, make sure your welding set has a voltage reduction device, VRD, fitted. Fasten your return lead clamp securely to the item being welded. Never assume the building structure will provide the return path. Look after your mate and make sure they don't become part of the return path. Make sure you, your equipment and the job stay dry. If your gloves are wet, replace them. Every single electric shock has the potential to kill you. An electric shock can upset the rhythm of your heart and there have been cases of people dying hours or even days after receiving an electric shock. So if you get a shock, report it and get an ECG to make sure everything is okay.